Hi, I'm Eric Jesse, partner in Lowenstein Sandler's Insurance Recovery Group. Welcome to In the Know. Businesses continue to experience an unprecedented level of ransomware and cyber attacks. And insurance companies only expect those cyber attacks to increase as a result of Russia's recent invasion of Ukraine and the harsh economic sanctions that Western nations have imposed on Russia in response. Policyholders need to be prepared to navigate a difficult and hardening cyber insurance market as insurance companies reel from past claims experience and as they anticipate future claims activity as a result of Russia's invasion. So, what can policyholders do to prepare? First, during this upcoming renewal, policyholders should pay careful attention to the war and or terrorism exclusions in cyber insurance policies. Not only will Russia's invasion of Ukraine cause insurance companies to take a mo much closer look at these exclusions, but a recent New Jersey court decision will as well. In that decision, the New Jersey court ruled that a war exclusion did not bar coverage for a cyber attack that originated out of Russia. The court held that the war exclusion only applied to physical, not cyber warfare. So, as insurance companies reevaluate their the wording of their war and or terrorism exclusions, policyholders need to make sure that those revisions do not operate in a way where the exclusion swallows up any coverage that would otherwise be available for cyber attacks that originate from Russia. Policyholders can do this by making sure that the exclusion has key and necessary carve-outs for cyber terrorism or cyber attacks as will be defined in the policy and to make sure that there are exceptions for key coverages such as ransomware or business interruption. Second, I don't need a crystal ball to tell you that when your cyber policy comes up for renewal, you will likely experience increased premiums, again, increased retentions, lower sublimits for key coverages such as ransomware, and more restrictive terms and conditions. Policyholders should work with their broker to start the renewal process earlier than they usually would so that these issues are identified sooner. This will enable you to raise your concerns with your broker and your coverage counsel earlier in the process and will also allow your broker, if necessary, to go out to the insurance market to obtain competing quotes from other carriers. And another reason to start the renewal process sooner rather than later is because policyholders should expect a much more intensive underwriting process. The days of just filling out a written application and submitting it to the insurance companies are likely in the rearview mirror. Today, insurance companies expect comprehensive submissions with detailed information about cybersecurity protections that are in place, training for personnel and contingency planning in the event of a cyber attack. And on top of that, uh, cyber insurers may even want to interview your IT personnel, which is something that your company should take very seriously and fully prepare for. We hope these tips will help you navigate the wild west of cyber insurance. Thank you for joining us and we look forward to seeing you next month on In the Know.